Can an 85 two-stroke beat a 254 stroke in a race? Two-stroke versus four-stroke. So here's the background for this video. This is my son's 2021 KTM 85SX, and this is my 2021 Kawasaki KX250X. Now I've ridden with my boys several times when I was riding this bike, and this bike just has a five-speed gearbox, whereas this bike has a six-speed gearbox. And there have been a couple of times where we were just kind of like connecting trails together, where I was like in top gear, and I'm like halfway through my RPM range, and I'm trying to shift again, and this bike doesn't have any more gears, and Connor over here was in like fourth gear and he was keeping up with me and it really really got me legitimately curious if the top speed of this 85 is faster than the top speed of this 250 with its stock gearing. I thought about it for days and days and I'm just like we've got to organize a race to see if the top speed of this bike is faster than it is on this bike. Before I get too deep into this video if you want to support Dirt Bike Channel you can use the links to Rocky Mountain ATV down in the description or over on my website dirtbikechannel.com. Uh, I think that's it. Let's get back to the video. See, I was confident that the 254 stroke, this is a hopped up awesome motor. I was confident that this bike would accelerate faster. And I also knew that my son isn't as, he had never done a race like this before. He'd never actually been pinned in sixth gear. And so we, I'm like, we're gonna have to go out and do some practice runs, which is what we did. So we go out and we do some practice runs and I'm getting, kind of getting him used to like being in top gear pinned and showing him where he needs to break, where he needs to let off, where he needs to lift. Remember, you can, you can have it wide open until you get to that trailer. Okay, go ahead. So I enlisted the help of my 10 year old son Cakes to actually be a second person on the camera. We got my point of view camera going and we got the drone footage going. And then we decided to just roll the tape and go. Go, go, go. After several practice runs, it became painfully clear that the Kawasaki did have a much faster acceleration. It just has more power and it's got more traction to the ground. Like my tire just gets way more traction. So I could make up ground on him in the acceleration. I kind of knew that going in. And so I wanted to kind of give him a little bit of a head start so that I didn't just blow him away. There were also a couple runs where Connor just didn't feel comfortable clicking all the way in sixth and holding it wide open on that gravel road. He was just a little bit unsure. I'd give Connor a head start, let him get on the gas. I'd tell him to get on it first and wait for him to click through gears and get kind of closer to his top speed. This is a good run, Connor, pound it. And then I'd roll on the throttle and see how much I could make up. And it was kind of a balancing point because I knew he was only gonna beat me in the top, top part of his you know, speed range. He wasn't ever gonna beat me in, in the acceleration and I didn't wanna get in front of him and just flip rocks on him because who wants to do that? That's no fun. I knew there was no way he was gonna stay with the throttle wide open if I got in front of him and started throwing rocks on him. So it was a little bit tricky. I just wanted to be sensitive to him and make sure that we were safe. And there was at least one time where I'm like, dude, I torched you on that one. Were you in sixth gear? He's like, no, I found out at the end I was in fifth. So I still wasn't a hundred, even though we'd been doing it for several minutes, I still wasn't a hundred percent sure if this bike was faster or slower than my Kawasaki. So we had some uphill runs, we had some downhill runs. And one of the times when we were going downhill, I let him kind of get a really good start on me and it was one of his best starts. And he just, he starts banging through the gears and by the time he gets past me, he's probably in third gear. Okay, go buddy, do another run. Okay, go buddy, do another run. And then I just start to roll on. And at that point, I'm like, holy crap, because I knew he was gonna start chucking these little gravel pieces at me. And I just lay into the bike. And it was, it was one of the most fun runs we did because I legitimately had, had to catch him so that I wasn't gonna get blasted by rocks. And then I'd let off a little bit until I, until I thought he was at his full speed. And then bam, I'd hammer it again and see what happens. Right there, we want as much road as we can get. We'll wait for 
of that dust. Case, you tell us when the dust is pretty clear down there. I'm just wasting battery. At the end of the day, we found out the modern 254 strokes can rev to like 750,000 RPMs. <laughs> So it doesn't matter if it's only got a five speed. It doesn't matter if it's only motocross gearing. This bike is legitimately, legitimately faster top speed than the little KTM 85. I'm only a little bit faster, but I am faster. It's just really weird because when you're on this bike and you're just going along in fifth gear and you're at like half throttle, you're like, this thing doesn't have any more. It's not gonna go very much faster. But then you roll, you roll on and this thing probably has five or 6,000 RPMs, uh, more of an RPM range than the little two stroke does. And so this thing just pulled away in the end. I still feel like I wish this thing had a six speed gearbox because any of my other bikes that like, I would never ever have thought in a million years that any of my other six speed bikes would be beat by that little KTM 85. But this one, I thought it might be. Turns out, no, it's still pretty darn fast. But when you are in some of these transition areas, you do want ex an extra gear on this thing. So thank you so much for watching these videos. They're a lot of fun to put together. I want to thank both of my sons for helping me with the filming on this. I want to get both of them more and more involved in Dirt Bike Channel and they can kind of see and just kind of help in the family business because this is now a family business. This is the way that we support our family. So if you could be so kind as to click like on these videos so that YouTube will share them with more people. Also, you can go to my website, dirtbikechannel.com. You can pick up some gear like hats and shirts and different things. Also, uh, starting relatively soon on April 30th, this is gonna be one of the sweepstakes bikes that you can win. I will have this bike up for grabs. I'll have a KTM 125 XE and a uh, KTM 1290 Super Adventure S, a street bike, something a little bit different that we will have up for grabs. So that sweepstakes is from April 30th until June 30th of 30th of 2021. I try to do these twice a year. So if you miss it this time, pay attention because we're usually doing them kind of one in the spring and one in the fall. I think that's what I've got for you guys. So it was pretty fun to do. Ultimately, yes, the four stroke, 254 stroke was faster than the little uh, 85, but hey, we, if we do this race, which we might do this race with a KTM 125 two stroke, I think the 125 will have a higher top speed than this. I haven't done any of that testing for sure, but I think just because of its gearing, stock gearing, I think the 125 uh, two stroke will be faster top speed than this thing. I think this thing would beat it in a drag race as far as acceleration, but top speed, the 125 might have it. So, okay. Thanks so much for watching guys. And until next time, leave a single track.